races like the Trotters Cup, the Pacers Cup and the Derby. Those horses earn points towards getting a start in the big finals on the 30th of April. Here we go. We're set to go for the first. They line up. They're away. Even line from the inside. Sees a moment, began okay. Bacardi Bindi's made an early blunder. Cabello King began quite well and is up there vying for the lead. Fairytale Hall's coming across. Sees a moment underneath it, running to the first turn. But Cabello King finds the lead. He's going to be very hard to beat the favourite. Now, Kai Valley Kid's keeping nice and handy. He's usually a little bit slow away at the start, but he's handy. Bacardi Bindi, she can't win. She galloped at the start. She's about 80 metres off the group. Cabello King can't win, though. He leads away, heads into the back straight. Ange Chapman's got him out in front by six metres. Sees a moment a second. Fairytale Hall is third, about six metres away. Another 10 metres away, maybe 12 then to Kai Valley Kid. And still 100 metres away then to Bacardi Bindi, who can't chase hard enough to catch them. Cabello King went a lead time of 45.6. He's out in front and he's looking for three wins from his last four starts and he's the one they have to beat. Caesar Mamet's trying to keep on his back in second place and he's six metres away. Seven metres away to Fairy Tail Hall. He's just trotting a little bit roughly in third placing but Sam Pascoe's not getting too flustered with that. Kai Valley Kid made a blunder. He's now 30 metres off her back and still 100 metres away to Bacardi Bindi. Coming into the front straight, Cabello King in front, still the one to beat. First quarter covered in 29.9 he just wants to drift up the track slightly in the front straight he leads by six meters and about to get the siren in second placing is Caesar moment third placing behind those the danger to the leader if there is one fairy tale hall which he's giving Cabello King probably about 12 meters and Sam's going to come to the outside now and ask her to chase out after this leader so the race is between the two favorites this far from home but Cabello King got clear Ange Chapman goes for home at the 800 he's out in front by 10 meters fairy tale hall the only possible chance of beating it in second placing now on the inside sees a moment then a margin behind those uh, to probably about or oh, 80 meters maybe 60 meters to Kai Valley Kid and another 80 or 100 meters away to Bacardi Bindi the two favorites have got it between them 31 4 that second section that gives them a 61 3 first half Cabello King in front fairy tale hall she is known to blunder under pressure she's trying to get closer and get level with Cabello King and at this stage she now gets level around the bend can she get around this final turn. She poked ahead in front. Cabello King, the hood's been pulled. He's on flat out. He's on full speed. But in the meantime, going to the lead, Fairy Tail Hall. She does get across down to the inside. She keeps trotting. It's her race. She's clear. She didn't quite go down to the inside in front of Cabello King. He's got that inside run to try and come back and she's galloped. Fairy Tail Hall's galloped. And now Cabello King is left out in front and Cabello King wins by default. She had him covered, but she blew and she can crumble under pressure. She's done that here. Cabello King gets a lucky win. 31 3, that uh, th uh, fourth and final quarter. Second, Fairy Tale Hall. Third was Caesar Moment. Kai Valley Kid. And the last one home, Bacardi Bindi. Mile rate 26.2.